Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review on two of these box frame levels from Harbor Freight. This is a 72 inch model or 6 foot and then I have a 24 inch model here or 2 foot. Uh, just to give you the item numbers exactly on what I'm talking about. The 72 inch it was item 69114 and the 24 inch was item 69241. Now I'm going to concentrate, you know, on this one since it's smaller and it's easier to manipulate. But the 72-inch level was normally $29.99 on their website, uh, and it was on sale for $19.99. I applied a 25% off coupon, so I got this for $14.99 out the door. And on the 24-inch level, it was advertised at. $14.99, it was on sale for $9.99, 25% off coupon, so I got this for $7.49 out the door. Uh, not to mention I got a bunch of freebie stuff as well, you know, and I'll show that in a different clip, but this, these are box frame levels, you know, so it's an entire box it, uh, of extruded aluminum. It is milled quite nicely on the top and the bottom. Uh, it's got a very small round over right here so it's it's really good you know to get in with a pencil to scribe a line or something like that uh, these would kind of be like a uh, maybe a Stanley or Bostitch you know knockoff level but <clears throat> all in all I was really surprised with the fit and finish on this level uh, it does have you know rubber end caps in it little rubber here on either end with a slot where you could hang it up I guess uh, it's three vials. Uh, this is the level vial, and then your plumb vials are here, one on either end. Uh, I like I said, you know, I'm pretty impressed with it. But you know, one thing that some people may not know about levels, you know, you don't just get a level and take it home and expect it to be accurate. You know, you need to check them in the store, and it doesn't matter which brand you buy. You need to do a calibration test on them and make sure that it is actually set up properly from the factory, because a lot of them are not. It's just the nature of them. Uh, so, you know, I rifled through what they had and found, you know, two that I was satisfied with, you know, and, and the way you would do that check is, uh, let's say, you know, to, to check the level vial, uh, I used the floor tiles in the store, lined it up on the floor tile and then lined it up here. You can do the same in the bench and it doesn't matter if what you're doing is level or not. So at this point you would cite the vial and see where it is if it's off just touching the line on one side just make a mental note flip it around end for end and the the the, the bubble should be at that same position once you flip it around you know and this one's really close and then the second test would be to find a vertical service you know i used one of their support poles in their building check it check their plumb vial make note turn it around 180 degrees look at the bottom one flip it in for end look at the top one and the bottom one and make sure they're reading properly and then flip it around this way you know it's pretty much how you would check things like this in the store and like I said some of them were just atrocious some of them were not bad so I maybe went through four or five levels they didn't have many in stock anyway uh, this was the pick of the litter out the 24 and then the 72 same deal did the same test with it you know so that's just a little FYI there but all in all uh, it seems to be built quite nicely uh, the only thing I could say about it which is not really a complaint it's just something that bothers me uh, this vial here is encapsulated with square corners which which is really a good way to do that you know to secure it but if you look at it down through the crack your bubble splits and you see two so you kind of have to look at it dead on from the side or get you know fairly straight looking down at it this way but all in all no big deal you know it's just something I noticed uh, my other level doesn't exhibit that problem uh, but you know it is what it is so I picked these up for what I thought was a very reasonable cost uh, the 72 inch level variant let's say from Lowe's which is the Bostitch box beam you know it's $70 for a six foot level 
Now they may be better quality. I'm not real sure. I hadn't been by there to look at them, but if I could get away with not spending 70 bucks, and in my case on the the large one, you know, spending $16 and 27 cents plus tax, uh, you know, I was going that direction. And I'm not seeing. Uh, it looks like the other one, the two footers, somewhere around 34, 35 bucks. You know, again, this was seven dollars and some change. So, you know, just a little bit of information. Uh, they seem to be fairly accurate once you find the right one in the mix. And that goes the same with a lot of their tools, or you know, a lot of manufacturers on quality control. You know, when I go to buy something at Harbor Freight, if they've got five items, I'll unbox five items and I'll look at them and I'll get the one that that I think is is the best quality. Uh, same thing here. So. All in all, you know, I, I wouldn't hesitate to get one, providing you make sure that it's right. And I would do that with any level, no matter the make, model, manufacturer. Thanks for watching, and good luck.